Hey, Digital Designers, this is Mr. Roper, and I want to show you how you can bring photo images into your Blender projects and have photorealistic textures and photos hanging on the wall of your rooms that you're making. So what I want to do is put a old newspaper headline in this picture frame on my wall of the office. So I went on to Google and I searched up old newspaper headlines and I found a cool one here, Woman Mystery Death. Uh, I went to Wikipedia, opened it up, and Wikipedia is a great source for high-res photos that I can download. So I'm going to right-click this and save it to my downloads bin. There we go. Uh, already did that ahead of time. Let's move this back over here. And then before I can bring a photo into Blender, I have to activate an add-on. So I'm going to go up to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and in the search box, I want to type in Images. And you're looking for this add-on, Import Images as Planes. That way, when you bring in a photo, it treats it like a plane uh, and you can position it and rotate it wherever you want. So check that box, close up your preferences, and you should be good to go. Uh, I want my photo to come in right in the middle of this picture frame. So before I do that, I'm going to click my frame. I'm going to do Shift S. And I want to put the cursor, that little target, right on the selected object. What that does is it puts the spawn point right in the middle of my photo frame so that when I bring this photo in, it'll already be there. Okay. Now we're going to go Shift A, and instead of adding a mesh or a light, we're going to add an image, and we want to bring in an image as a plane. Okay. Uh, I'll go to my downloads bin. I'm going to find my photo, open it, and when it comes in, you can see it's facing the wrong way at the moment, so let's rotate it. R Z negative 90 and we'll just move it forward a little bit. There we go. Scale it like that. And I'm in my rendered view here so that I can actually see it. You need to be in either material mode or rendered mode in order to see what the picture looks like. If you're in solid mode, it's just going to look like a flat surface. But you can see it looks pretty good there in material mode. Go to rendered mode. Even better. Awesome. Um, I think the only thing that would help call attention to this a little bit more is I'm going to add a light. Let's put a point light. Bring it out here a little bit so it's shining some light on my photo frame. And I'm all done. Okay. So if you do have some images that you want to hang on the walls of your room, this is the way you do it. Have fun. And we'll see you next time.